Yeah, about the time again. Hey, you know what it is, man. It's your boy Ecclesia, and it's Story Time Tuesday. Ah, uh, let's see. Where do we go? Where do we go? Um, how about Nappy Roots? Let's go with Nappy Roots. My first time opening up for Nappy Roots was uh, incredible. Um, it was, uh, I keep wanting to say 2008. I gotta go look at my dates, man. Um, we were at the uh, bottling company. So me and my whole U2DK Productions squad, our, our, our whole squad was in the show. Um, opening up with uh, my homeboy Kamikaze. Y'all know Kamikaze is one half of the Crooked Letters. You know, Kamikaze, David Banner, Crooked Letters, Get Crunk, Fire Water, all that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, much love to the legends, uh, shout out to you. So, you know, we was doing our thing, man, um, at the bottling company. And uh, we were all on the show, it was a great night. Um, we had a decent crowd in there, you know what I'm saying? Decent crowd, I was, I was loving the, the energy and the vibe from everybody in the building that night. Um, it ended up being uh, it ended up being skinny and scales. I think there was a transportation situation. Something happened to where all five of them at the time, because it's four now. But uh, at the time, all five of them couldn't make it. So you know, skinny and scales coming out of Georgia or whatever, they came on down. You know what I mean? Um, and, and showed love. So the people would still have a show. So uh, of course, they was putting on a great show. We definitely did our thing. Put on a great show. You know, a lot of us had on. Um, um, I had on my wake up call shirt from the mixtape I dropped back then. Uh, some of my homies, they had on the wake up call shirts too, that was cool. Um, just showing support, you know what I mean? Like everybody was in the building, you know, family was in the building, it was so dope. So, um, like I say, the show itself was dope, the show was fun. Um, but what, what sticks out about that night, uh, and shout out to my boy Crazy Jay, he was in there uh, filming for me. And, uh, but he had to leave before the Nap Roots came on. So I was like, dang, he didn't get this moment. But anybody that was in there could tell you how this went down. Matter of fact, go holler at my boy Scales from the Nap Roots and see what he tell you if he remember this moment. So um, Skinny and Scales had to improvise, you know what I'm saying? They would do their songs with the DJ and then uh, in between the songs, they'll play instrumentals, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of playing dope instrumentals as people, you know, vibing and, you know, vibing with the people doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like about Nappy Roots. But here's the thing. Somewhere, now mind you, we had performed, we did our thing. I'm talking about was, was killing it, you know what I'm saying, with our singles and everything. We had popping at the time. And then, so, so later on, I'm, I'm, I'm still on a high, you know what I'm saying, from the show. So somewhere in the middle, they started playing more of these instrumentals. And, and, and people, me and the people around me, they kept saying, like, yo, let them spit. Let them spit. Let them spit. Because I was like, man, let me rap on one of these instrumentals. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I don't know how long I had to do that. But they played the Snoop Dogg drop it like it's hot instrumental, right? So I'm like, man, come on. Let me get up here and spit, bro. My part of it, like, let them spit. Let them spit. Let them spit, man. Let me tell you something. Scales did the unthinkable. They let me spit. Man, I jumped on that stage, bro. Let me tell you something. I grabbed that mic from Scales. And the beat, came, man, the beat was rolling back around, man. I grabbed that microphone and Scales kind of put his, put his, put his arm on my shoulder. Like, what, what, he, what he finna do? Let's get it. He must know I was finna rock. Man, let me tell you something. I lost my mind on the 16 that I spit up there, bro. I'm talking about I went in. I'm talking about I went to hell off. Let me tell you something. I spit. That verse, like my life depended on <laughs> I spit that verse like that was gonna be the last verse I ever spit. You know what I'm talking about? Um, matter of fact, I think I spit the first, the, the third verse from a song I got called You Gotta Feel Me on the Wake Up Call. I'm gonna have to put that, I'm gonna have to put that mixtape in the, uh, the link in the, in the description or something, man. Um, that was another life ago when I was going at Eclipse, but it was one of my most um, phenomenal projects, I believe. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gotta check it out. So I went up there, man. Um, I can't even remember the verse right now. Just know I went the hell off. I'm talking about it was it was ridiculous. Like, and when I got done, <laughs> now mind you, my people they they know how I get down. Even back then, they know what they know what it was. They know what it is. So <laughs> Scales was kind of blown away at the verse, but Kamikaze, see Kamikaze know Kamikaze know how I get down. He's always known. And Kama, the look on Kamikaze face, Kamikaze had the biggest smile, but he had that look like, hey man, that you you you, you did it. Like you let it happen. <laughs> he was like, hey bro, we tried to warn you. Like that's the type of look he had on his face, man. I would I would never forget, man. Uh, that <laughs> that took the hell out of me, man. And scales still, 
They were so blown away by what happened. And he grabbed the mic back from it. I jumped back in the crowd and felt like a champion and she is knit and scales are like, yeah, man, you know, that's our little brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Big <laughs> Like, man, I probably I probably met Scales them like one time before at like a concert or something or you know, man, that, I'm, I'm trying to think of that concert in Jackson was uh, the first time I saw them. I, I go back because I, I went to jail that night. Yeah. You know what? That's another story. But anyway, um, so uh, <laughs> yeah, he was like, yeah, that's our little brother, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, much love, blah, blah, blah. And then they went on with the show, which was an incredible show. But like I said, it was real, it was real dope, man. Uh, I would never forget that moment. I hope he still remember, you know what I mean? But it was just good to know that Brother Skills was highly respected, you feel me? Because Nappy Roots, like Bone Thugs and Harmony, is one of my favorite groups um, of all time, you know what I mean? Their music got me through a lot of tough times, um, you know what I'm saying? Like coming out of high school, going to the college, things like that. They, they, really, uh, they really helped me out. So the fact that I'm able to, you know, pick up a phone and call any one of those brothers to me is just a blessing uh, that I, I definitely don't take for granted. You know what I'm saying? So definitely we'll be uh, still working with them in the near future. So stay tuned. Uh, a couple things in the works. But yeah, man, uh, that's it for today's story time Tuesday. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying for checking in with me. Uh, you know what to do, man. If you're on Facebook, uh, please share this video for me. Uh, invite your friends to like my page. If you're on desktop, click the community tab on my page and uh, hit the invite friends button. You know what I'm saying? Just scroll down, scroll down, scroll through. Excuse me. Scroll down. That is through and down. Scroll down your list <laughs> and uh, invite friends. Um, I would, I would appreciate it. Uh, share my video, all that good stuff. If you're on YouTube, you damn sure know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Um, Y'all know what to do, man. Follow me on uh, whatever social media you're rocking with. But wherever you are rocking with me, I appreciate you, man. We're going to keep it going. So until next time.